<clears throat> Hi gang, I call this the uh, technical video of this uh, Jensen S model replica. We'll start with this uh, copper tank on the back here. It's a, uh, you can buy them on eBay and it's a ducket tank uh, and tobacco is where you'll find it. They're 10 or 15 dollars all day long. And it's got half inch pipes and a quarter inch cross members um, all soldered together. These uh, are lamp stands and the idea was uh, borrowed from forum member Kevin and uh, he, I contacted him and he graciously allowed me a copy of the set for myself. Uh, so if you want a set, contact Kevin and he'll be happy to make you some. Uh, these are 3 sixteenths with the all brass top and bottom and they have a 10 millimeter LED bright white bulb in them. Of course the lines run down inside the pipe to a terminal here under this uh, PM Research Dynamo or generator. It's good for about 5 to 10 volts and these lights will light up at 5 so that works out well. The engine doesn't have to run the dynamo too hard to, to make it all go. I uh, put a lamp stand right here and actually this Jensen 20 mount worked very well. I was able to just tap right through it. Uh, this is a 3 16 and it's tap 40 on the bottom. So it actually does serve two purposes as being a lamp stand and uh, it holds the base down right here and this has a flashing red LED 10 millimeter light and it flashes twice every second. Uh, moving on to the engine, this is a Jensen 20. It has a custom J end cap on it or a piston uh, end cap assembly. And uh, something I really wanted to capture with the, uh, the Jensen S model is this line here. Uh, you know how it goes up for this boiler, which is a four by eight and a quarter inch boiler, and um, of course it has a PM Research uh, sight glass on it. Let's talk a little bit about the plumbing. We got a shut off here, so that when the engine's shut down and the the capillary action of the boiler starts working, it'll actually suck all the water out of the the reservoir if you don't shut the valve off. A lot of us have experienced that. Then you get to drain it down like I did just about an hour ago. <laughs> Uh, we have a, uh, a water feed pump and these are made by a fellow named Jin from China and uh, his company is Microcosm Engine and on eBay he goes by the uh, sign on handle of GALGLG -G -G. so if you're interested in those uh, it's actually on an eccentric works right off the shaft I don't know if you can see it uh, let's get a little close up to this Articulating there very nicely. And um, lastly, I wanted to point out that the uh, boiler actually has a uh, screw in type water heating element that's uh, common household stuff. Around here, I can get them for $10 all day long. And this one actually is a 1440 watt. And uh, to change it up or down, I merely need to screw in another one. This is a 2000 watt, same physical size. So that's something I really wanted to capture with this engine in particular to make it really economical to, to run and to replace parts so it's not very expensive to uh, to operate and if the heater goes out well I just go down and get another one for ten dollars and, and screw it in. Uh, and lastly it has uh, an old type cord but it does it is grounded. I was able to find one on eBay that uh, suited my needs there and it kind of captures the look for me. So. Um, this actually, this pipe came from a uh, shower rod. I found a local hardware store and it fitted the size I needed very well. So, I think that's about it, folks. Thanks for looking, and I uh, hope you have a great day.